know that has been a first prophet among you. Read. The prophet was prophesying of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Right now, you got prophets in the churches, meaning your modern day ministers and pastors and preachers that prophesy about peace. But there is no peace in this society. There's no peace in America. There's no peace in the Middle East. There's no peace in these third world countries. There's no peace on this planet at all. It's nothing but chaos, disarray, and war going on right now. So where's the peace at? But yet in the churches, what do they what do they preach? On TV, what do they preach? What do they push? They push peace. They push comfortability. They push relaxation. They they push confidence. When there's nothing confident about what's going on right now. Read. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known. Right, so when the word of the prophet come to pass, then shall that prophet be known. Give me Second Thessalonians 5 and 3. Because when the word come to pass, then shall that prophet be known. But, so now we got to ask ourselves a, a, a question. Why is it that the Bible is, is, is preaching a coming destruction of this society and everybody else is saying uh, pray for this society? Everybody else is saying support the society, support the world. Support our government. When, our, when your government don't support you, when your government is corrupt, the government don't care about you, the government do not support you. Where my bag at? I, I, I want to read something real quick about the government real quick. I need a close up on this because this is your government right here. It says scandal in the state house. Scandal in the state house. But these are the people y'all vote for. Every four years y'all vote for these people to do what? To lie to you, to steal from you more, to oppress you more, to make things more difficult for you. That's all they do, but you, you vote the most violent and corruptible people in office. And they're not supporting you, they're not for your turn. Let me read this. Let me, let me the other one. I want to read the other one about the EPA, about the, environment, the, the Environmental Protection Agency. Right. Get this right here. This, this, this came from the, um, from the Washington Associated Press, okay? And it's about the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. And this is why I say this society and this government don't really care about the people. They don't, the support, su the support, uh, the rich, excuse me, support the rich. That's all they do. But the poor, the layman, the common people, y'all can forget about it. Y'all are not counted for the seed. Y'all are not counted for nothing but a number in this society and, uh, on, and, and how they can use you and utilize you and drain you like batteries to support and uphold this system. Now, this is, this, is, this is the EPA. It says, each U.S. life just became worthless, the EPA says. It says, each U.S. life has became worthless. This is what they think about you. The federal government, this is their research, this is their fight. It says, it's not just the American dollar that's losing value. First of all, the American dollar is losing value. Those of you who haven't been keeping up with the stock exchange, those of you who haven't been keeping up with Wall, with, with Wall Street and how the dollar is declining, you need to pay attention to this. To this. It says the value of a statistic, statistical life is $6.9 million. In dollars. The Environmental Protection Agency record in May 2008 uh, dropped nearly a $1 million from just five years ago. It says the Associated Press discovered the change after a review of course of, of course benefit analysis over more than a dozen years. So this was a 12 year study they, they did. And they made they based their findings off of this 12 year study. It says though it may seem like a harmless bureaucratic recalculation, the, the devaluation has real consequences. It says when drawing up regulations Government agencies put a value on human life and then weigh the cost versus the life-saving benefits, benefits, benefits of the proposed rule. So now the EPA is, is supposed to be sanctioning and putting different restraints on these different manufacturing companies, on these chemical companies, on these manufacturing companies that's making your clothes, that's uh, building cars, that's uh, that's building all the uh, the household appliances you use, all those things produce uh, harmful habits 
and chemicals and things like that in the air, in our water, in our earth. And you're, you're breathing these things, okay? It says, it says, the less a life is worth to the government, the less the need for regulation. So the less they devalue your life, the less restraint and restriction they put on these, these manufacturing plants, okay, to watch uh, what kind of uh, hazardous materials they use. Now, just about a month ago, here, take this. Take it for me. About a month ago, they had on, I think it was um, CNN or some kind of news report about what happened with the Louisiana um, tragedy. Now, they were pumping those trailers out by the hundreds of thousands of Davies manufacturers. So now, the people who are living in the trailers, okay, and the, and the, uh, the employees of the manufacturing companies that made the trailers, they're sick now. They, I, I forget what the illness is, but the floorboard that was in the trailers, they ran out of the EPA uh, certified boards that the EPA said they should use. So what happened when they ran out, they wanted to meet that production. So they were getting so much money from the federal government to pump out the trailers with, um, you know, for the, uh, for, for the so-called refugees, which was our people once again. So what they did, they used these, these other um, floor points that was hazardous. They had these screws coming um, off from, from, from the floor, from the floor boards, from the floor boards. It was like sheets of shit rock, but it was called floor boards. And they, and it was hazardous. So the people in the plant got sick. Also, the, the people who, who were living inside these trailers, they also got sick. So this is what the society thinks about you. This is how important you are to this government. You're not really important at all. But yet you support this government by voting every year. You mean, Psalms uh, 12 and 7. Give me Psalms 12 and 7 real quick. Because we, you know, we, we, we support these people and I don't understand, I don't vote. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't think, I, I think I voted one time in my life. One time. Because even as a young kid, even as a child, I couldn't understand. Even as a child, I never saw the difference. They always said, that, uh, vote me in, I'll make a difference. But you never see the difference. I never saw the difference. I still, I, the same way I'm looking for employment now, I was looking for employment then. So what, what's, the, what's the difference? What, what has changed? The same, the same poverty and oppression we're dealing with in our communities is still there. It's, it still exists. The same way we had drugs and guns in our community during the 60s, here is 2008. It still exists. So where's the change at? Where's the change? Over there on, on, um, on 19th and the Parkway, I believe it is, you got a, a facility that's supposed to rehabilitate uh, our, our youth. And they call it the Youth Study Center. The Youth Study Center has been there for, for 50 years. But has the condition of our youth changed? Have these young brothers got themselves together yet? Have these young sisters got themselves together yet? Where's the rehabilitation at? In these so-called, quote-unquote, rehabilitation facilities. Where's the rehabilitation at? I can't see it. It's a bunch of, it's, it's, it's a bunch of games, that's what it is. The politics and the bureaucracy of the society, the politics is nothing but a pile of tricks. That's all it is. They trick you each year into believing they're going to make a change and they never do. Nothing never changes. Let me see what you got. Exactly. Psalms 12 and 8. Get that for me, brother. The wicked, the wicked wall of the sun, the wall of the 